Profanity and insults in the UAE are considered illegal and unpunishable under the UAE Penal Code as well as under the UAE Cyber Law. All right, guys, we got to talk about this interesting story. So we have this lady from Houston, Texas, who apparently was vacationing in Dubai. Okay, apparently she broke the law. She messed around, broke the law, and figured out that she couldn't bring her Western ways to Dubai. Crime she's charged with may surprise you, and Dubai is increasingly becoming a vacation spot for a number of Houston women. One who's there right now, according to her social media page, uh, is trying to get back to the Bayou City, but according to her mom, her passport has been confiscated because she was charged with screaming in public. It also, it also could result in prison time, so it's very scary. The trip turned terrifying for Tierra Young Allen when her mom says she was a passenger in a friend's rental car and they got into an accident there in Dubai. Tina Baxter says when her daughter went to the company to retrieve her ID, credit card, and other items left in the rental, Baxter says it did not go well. She found out that she could only receive those items if she paid an undisclosed amount of money. Um, she dealt with a very aggressive individual, a young man there who was screaming at her. Baxter says her 29-year-old daughter ultimately yelled back at the rental car agent, she says resulting in her being charged for screaming there in Dubai. And so she is in jail for one reason, one reason alone. She raised her voice. In that country, a female is not even allowed to raise her voice. If she raises her voice, it's punishable by jail time. It's been very emotional. There are some days I stay up all night crying. They have a strict law system that is really based on theocracy. This website warns, quote, laws and customs are very different, so be aware of your actions to ensure they don't offend while in United Arab Emirates. Now, after Baxter says her daughter was charged with screaming in Dubai, her passport has been taken, and the American social media influencer who works as a truck driver can't leave the UAE, according to her mom. And her mom says she's been placed under a travel ban pending the outcome of the investigation. It's very frightening. Um, the longer she's been there, the more reality has started to kick in. In our opinion, she did not commit a crime. Don't punish women for doing the same thing a man can do in Dubai. It's not fair and it's not right. Now, the 29-year-old does now have an attorney there in Dubai, and her mom says she's told that she could face jail time because there is surveillance video of her screaming. Now, we have reached out to the U.S. and the UAE embassies. Will government officials step in and give her assistance? I'm still awaiting responses. Reporting live near downtown Houston, I'm Damali Keith, Fox 26 News. All right, guys, so there you have it. She took her sassy attitude and brought it to Dubai. Apparently, Dubai is extremely strict. It seems to be more of a traditional place. They have certain rules and regulations that you need to follow. Apparently, she is a truck driver and allegedly she was trying to open and expand her business in Dubai. As a business owner, you need to know who your demographic is, okay? If you're going to open up a business in a foreign place, you need to know the rules and regulations. I will go ahead and play this next clip from this lawyer from Dubai who is going to break down this law. Take a look. Prof Profanity and insults in the UAE are considered illegal and unpunishable under the UAE Penal Code as well as under the UAE Cyber Law. Profanity are statements that are offensive or obscene and are not necessarily directed at third party. Under the UAE Penal Code, the penalties for profanity and insults depend on the gravity of circumstances. But the penalties can include jail sentence of up to two years and a fine of up to 50,000 dirhams. The penalties can be a lot more severe if the offense is reoccurring and if it is done against either public officer, through the media, or affects the family honor. Furthermore, if the abuse is done by using digital means, those crimes are also subject to the UAE cyber law and the penalties are a lot more severe, including jail sentence and fines between 250,000 dirhams to 500,000 dirhams. All right, guys, so you heard that there are certain laws that can't be broken. Now, I will ahead and just kind of break this down even further. I'm going to go ahead and put up this list of comments regarding this matter. 
I will not read all of it, but you know, I just want to give some context here to really dissect how strict Dubai is. Be drunk in public. Alcohol consumption is illegal for Muslim majority population of Dubai. Just as it is for many other parts of the region such as Egypt, non-Muslims are able to purchase alcohol and licensed bars, restaurants, and hotels, as is the case in many other Muslim countries such as Egypt. Be careful not to have too many as it is illegal to act disorderly in public whether you are Muslim or not. Take photos of people without their explicit permission. It is considered rude to snap a photo of anyone without asking them first. This particularly applies to taking photos of local women. Alright, so the next one here says swearing, cursing, and foul language are considered an offense, and a number of foreigners have got themselves in trouble by making vulgar comments in the presence of an undercover officer. Keep it clean folks, let's go ahead and read some of these comments first, commenter says. Please stop traveling without learning. Three cultural norms Dubai is not Miami. Learn the customs and laws before you travel. Stop traveling if you ain't got no home training, alright? So next commenter says, As a woman who lives in Dubai, these comments are crazy to me. Who told y'all we don't have rights? The UAE is one of the safest and fairest places in the world. It's so sad that all of you Westerners are manipulated by the media. Next comment here. Myron says loud women take L's as usual. Being ratchet has a price, people. Once you board an international flight, check your American behavior at the airplane door. So, there you have it. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Until next time.